Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Google Chrome will no longer support Windows 7 next year. Google Chrome have published this article where they are saying that they will sunset support for Windows 7, 8 and 8.1 in early 2023. Chrome 109 is the last version of Chrome that will support Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Chrome 110 which will be released on February 2023, is the first version of Chrome that requires Windows 10 or later. You will need to ensure your device is running Windows 10 or later to continue receiving future Chrome releases. This matches Microsoft end of support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 on January 10, 2023. Older versions of Chrome will continue to work, but there will be no further updates released for users on these operating systems. This is what is stated on this article from Google Chrome regarding the support on Windows 7 for this browser. And the support for Windows 7 have actually started on 2020, but they have just released the security updates and this will continue till January 10, of 2023. This could be a bigger deal than you might think. Despite Windows 7 first being released in 2009 and Microsoft officially ending support for it, data suggests that the operating system is still running on a lot of devices. As recently as last year, the number was estimated to be at least 100 million PCs. That means that a lot of people could soon be both on unsupported operating system and an unsupported web browser, which could be a significant security risk. Now, the solution for this could be to go back to Windows XP. <laughs> Jokes aside, users of Windows 7 need to address this problem and they will have just two options. Find at least a browser which will continue to support Windows 7 or just upgrade it to Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'll keep an eye on this interesting topic, so subscribe and stay tuned to Learn Tech channel for more info on this. There are also very high chances that Firefox browser will stop the support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 also. Till now, there is no information regarding Firefox, but we need to have a look on that. So that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today, and I hope that this will be useful if you are using Windows 7 and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.